What's poppin'? It's Hey, What's poppin'? It's your girl Asian. I'm back with another video. And today, I'm doing a little mukbang for y'all. And I got a little special guest. If y'all are real OG, y'all know who this is. And I don't really have to explain it. Because if you read the title, you already know who this is. Okay? And we're going to get right into it. I got some questions that people sent me. Who told this man it was time to eat? And we just gonna enjoy this lovely Portillo's. You know, if you're from um, Chicago, you know what uh, Portillo's is and you know how um, good it is. So <sighs> we gonna cut out talking and we gonna start eating. Mm. Mm. You wanna start the questions? Um, you go ahead. You go ahead. Come on, man. I gotta unfold my food. Wait, hold on. Wanna we'll take the first bite together? Yeah, we can take the first bite together. You gotta start eating first. I already had like two fries. Okay, so. I did. Uh, I ate like two fries too. So, what I got, I got an Italian beef dip uh, with uh, hot peppers. And some fries and some cheese put on the fries and an entire beef. And he damn near got the same thing. And you can't forget the lemonade. Mm. I mean, it's good though. All right, so a question somebody asked me is, how do you make long distance work? How you do long distance? I don't think I ever did long distance for real. I mean, it didn't, it didn't last for me though. You don't. It just, you don't. No, I, I mean, I'll say that. I say if y'all. If y'all both value the, um, your relationship. If y'all both trust each other, it shouldn't be no issue. Right. Both of y'all. Go see each other when you can and then. Right. Pretty much. If both of y'all invested, then you shouldn't have no problem. The distance wouldn't even matter. At if, all. If, like, the relationship and the friendship and the loyalty and the trust is there, the distance not going to matter. Um, oh, that's a good question. Somebody said, how do you deal with your significant other not liking your friends or vice versa? <laughs> Well, we've dealt with this a lot. <laughs> Just saying. I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> but, I mean, you just air it out, I guess. I don't like such and such, and that this is what it is. Either they're going to deal with it, or they're going to say, F what you're saying. I don't really care how you feel because they're my friend. You know, you do get those, but you just got to let them. You got to let them know. What you think? How you deal with it? I, I agree with you. <clears throat> if, um, you know what I'm saying? They don't like them, they don't like them. Right, that is. Mm -hmm. um, you can do that. You want to ask? That question? Cause you be the main one. I be the main one. What? Talking, talking about. You see the question? How much? <clears throat> How much time is healthy to spend together? So this is what we do. <laughs> we kind of been cheating, like right now, but. What we do, <laughs> what we do is we take a break. <laughs> I need about like four, five days. It never really be four, five days. It'd be like two. She make her way over here somehow, some way. Okay. But I don't want to see her for about four, five days. He doing too much. That's the truth though. I mean, like I said, you just 
You just gotta know you and just, your. She just get on my nerves after a while. And just be like, all right. After you get over work, you just go home. You know what I'm saying? Cause ain't no point. I did. Wait, you were supposed to. What? You supposed to party with me? It'd be alright. Okay. I'm hungry, bro. I eat all this. I know. Um, but I say you just gotta know like your your limits. And that's like my fifth bite. I saw on the bottom. Yeah, you just gotta know your limits with each other. <laughs> You just gotta know, like when it gets to a point, we say, okay, you getting on my nerves, and we need to go go our separate ways for a little bit. You know, I see you in a little bit. We could Facetime here and there, but you just gotta know your limits. So when you getting tired of somebody, so it gets to the point where you know. But it gotta be transparent too. Right. They they gotta feel the same way. But I, you got your space. Right. I'm cool. You can't be like, oh, you really getting on my nerves. I'm sorry. You know, the other person be like, what do you mean I'm getting on your nerves? Yeah, and it'd be a whole... Like, y'all just got to come to understanding. Like, we cannot see each other every, every day. Every second of the day. Yeah. It's cool to take some space. You chill with your homies. She chill with her friends. Period. But keep in contact, though. Don't act Right. Like Don't just... Go somebody, then that's when you're gonna run into a real issue. Yeah, well, go ahead. <laughs> Damn, um, oh, it says, Is it possible to be in a relationship with someone who has different goals than you? I mean, it depends on the goals. If it's like, oh, I want to be, you know, I don't even know how we word that. It just depends on the What's goal. The huh? What's the question? Is it possible to be with somebody that has different goals than you? It just, as far it, as what? I that's what I'm saying. It just depends on the goals. Like, what are you doing? I'm turning your auto lock off. So my battery can run out. No, so I won't have to keep hitting the buttons to look at the question. What do you think? I mean, I don't think it really matters. If they got a goal, you should be happy up there and support that. Right, but it depends on the goal. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, That's what I was trying to give like an example, but like I can't. Like, say, I don't even know. Like a really low goal. It's like not really a goal. I mean, it could be a goal, but like. You know, like, like we both don't have to have a goal of living in a mansion. Like, say you want to live like in a regular little townhouse and I want to live in a mansion. That's fine. We could just agree to disagree and get All something right. in the middle. All right. But. I'm trying to think of like a goal that's like, okay, we need to sit down and talk about this because that goal is not leveling up to your standards. You get what I'm saying? Like if it's like a low goal, you get what I'm saying? No. Okay, well, I, to sum it up, it's fine to have different goals. It just right. it just depends on. How far your goal is going to help you prosper in life. Period. That's it. Now you go to the next question. Because I need some eats. You eat. Alright. I need a little more napkins. Good. It's only like two minutes. It's fine. Or you got like two. That's fine. Alright. <clears throat> Um, somebody said, how do you, how do you think you've changed over the past few years? Man. A, lo a lot. You can elaborate without going into too much detail. I mean, I don't know. 
I know I've grown, of course, you know, the things that you deal with and the things that you know you're not going to deal with in your life. And, of course, you know, goals, they grow over time. So I know that's changed over the years. Um, And, yeah, just like the things that you want in life, I guess. Yeah, I can kind of say the same thing. <clears throat> As years pass, you kind of like. You learn yourself. Yeah, you kind of learn yourself. You kind of feel where you kind of want to be. Mm -hmm. As you uh, continue to, you know. Grow. Grow and see yourself in different places. So, past few years for me, I've gained like more confidence in myself. I know myself a lot more, but especially during the quarantine, this quarantine made me just want to like just go all in and invest in myself. Exactly, because how you? Because it's just like all you've been doing is sitting there looking at yourself and just sitting yeah. in what you've been dealing with for the past years. Yeah. Basically, shit. Since I dropped out of fucking school, <laughs> I was just like, damn, what I'm gonna do? I'm like, right, I got a job. But it was just like it's something I got. I know I want to do something other than just work. Mm -hmm. And so, kind of like dig yourself out of that hole. Like, well, I can do this, that, and third. So you know, you kind of like act on it. Yeah. It's, it's <clears throat> no better way to do something than if you want to do something. I say just go and act on it as soon as you think about it. Because you know, if you don't, right, you're gonna keep pushing it off. You know, just every day it's gonna be like, well, I want to do that, but you're not gonna act. If you don't act on it, so. if you don't act on it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna never gonna happen. So, the better, you know, the time is now. Is mm -hmm. Um, no, it's not your turn. Sorry, please, it's my turn. Brock has another question. You can okay, keep but it. you can keep it right Hold there. Up. I want to pick the phone up. Gee, now why he got to take over? I didn't take over. You I did. Just, I just want to ask a question. Okay, you go sit around. I want to pick the question. Why do you got to go all the way? Because I want to ask different questions. It don't necessarily have to be. I guess, you know, I guess I'm doing it wrong. Let's see, I'm going something a little different. No, that's, that's a little bit too. <laughs> I can't answer that though. What's the dumbest thing you ever cried about? I cried about a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> I can answer that though. I've never cried over nothing dumb. Um. Unless it was like a movie or something, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm cried. What if I? Oh, I mean, well, that's not dumb. We can be watching a movie though, and I look over, her eyes water. I'm like, gee, you you good? She. Yeah, this boy's sad. I'm like, all right, bro. You got it. Mm. Huh? You go ahead, now. Oh, I didn't answer the question. I mean, I guess I could say, uh, <laughs> I, I'm talking about, you remember when it was my birthday and we went out? It was your birthday. And we went out and I was crying because somebody came and saw me that month. You know, I was crying because somebody had came and saw me that month. Yeah. And then you put that gift you had me out at the closet, the book. The book that I wanted. You're really acting really lost right now. And I don't know. I, I don't remember. That's you remember I'm you got me that book that I wanted. Or the yeah. TV show that I watched. Right. Do you remember how you gave it to me? Because no. I was crying. No, I don't remember. That's why. <sighs> See, I don't remember all the fabulous, you know, good shit I do, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just do it, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember though forever. I was crying. I don't remember you crying. He was like, stop, it's going to be okay. Yeah, I don't remember you crying. Yeah, I bought a book that she wanted and she cried. So. That's because I was already being emotional. <laughs> but I don't remember that, so you go ahead. Okay, um... 
Do you believe that date nights are necessary? Is a necessary thing in a relationship? And how often should they happen? Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna start. Date night does not always have to be we gotta go out and go to a fancy restaurant and dress all nice and spend a lot of money. Day and night do not always have to be like that. What you say? Hmm. What's that? Um, I, yes, day and nights are unnecessary because you know it get boring sometimes. You know, when you continuously do the same thing, it's gonna get boring, especially if y'all learn to uh, spend a lot of time together together already, right. And then people gonna turn lazy and think this is what we normally do. Why are you acting so confused? Like you know, we've been doing the same thing. So why are you getting upset? Cause we're doing the same thing we've been doing. But it's like I feel like day nights is like little like sprinkles on a relationship, like to add a little spice. Like, oh, we should do this. And we should do that. Because it's out of the norm. But, yeah. What do you think? Um, I agree. And sometimes you got to, um, like you said, do something different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it does get boring. Yeah. When the idea come to your head, and they say, yeah, I might as well go and do it, or plan for it, or whatever y'all gonna do. Mm -hmm. You just try to have fun, you know, keep, you know, keep the, keep bonding mm -hmm. over time and stuff like that. Even if, even if it's little shit like... Going to the park. Like going to the park, or y'all go on a walk, like... <clears throat> Something like that. Anything to mind. You're going to be straight. So. Some peace and um, quality time is a good definition of a date night to me. But don't get me wrong. It's always nice to dress up and go out. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But it don't have to be like that all the time. <clears throat> um... Um, how do we can talk about you? I know we're gonna be <clears throat> oh, oh, we done. And one question I got How do I approach my significant other when I have a problem I need to discuss with them? And I'll go with her. Yep, okay. What was the question? How do I go to you? How do I? Approach my significant <clears throat> other when I have a problem that I need to discuss with them. You know, I just go to you. Just tell her. Um, she's always um, open and, and available to help and, and try to figure out stuff. You were saying I'm a very open person. I like helping. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's open and available. <clears throat> so if anybody got a problem... Then that come to her. But for me, I just come out and say, like, you know, this pissed me off, such such pissed me off, situations pissed me off. And uh she gonna, you know, she gonna either have something to say or it's just good for her to listen, depending on what, you know, what's going on. But that's pretty much it. How about you? Pretty much. I mean, it depends on what the problem. I like I love events, so I'ma tell you. I'm going to say. Sometimes I don't be willing to hear that. I know he don't, but he going to listen. He might not respond or have nothing to say, but he going to listen to what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> It depends. Like, if it's like, if it's like with something I didn't deal with during the day, like at work or like with family, he going to listen. But then if it's like something that like we having a problem and we got to discuss it, oh, you know. You can't just say, so yesterday, um, I ain't like how 
you kick me in the back and then then say sorry. It's saying it, it all goes into how you approach them. They don't want to feel like they're being attacked, or I ain't gonna talk to you. They exactly they don't they don't like that. They don't like that. So you know you gotta ease into it. Don't tiptoe around it. I'm not going to talk to you. Don't tiptoe around it, because that's when you know it's going to start fizzing. You're going to get a response you don't like. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you, you just got to ease into it. Sometimes that might be defensive. Your significant other might be defensive, but it's either we could fix this situation and it could flow in the wind, or you get defensive and be not responsive. Now we got a whole nother problem. So it just all go into how you want this to pass, basically. It's your turn. <clears throat> okay, so another question is, how do I tell my significant other that how do I tell my significant other something that's from my past that I know will hurt them? You don't? <laughs> Either you don't, <laughs> if you want to, shit. I mean, you feel me? You're going to be honest, just be honest. So the truth so that's how I approach it. I wouldn't really get no, it shouldn't matter. Right, because it's, it's from the past. I mean, I could see if it was like, like before you knew them or just like, a few years ago when y'all was still together. Like, it depends on, like, if it was when y'all didn't know each other and that was just your past life before you knew them, or if it was, like, early on in your relationship, like, yeah, you know, we first got together in, like, July. Come, like, November, I cheated. Like, yeah, that's something that's, you know, gonna put a damper in your relationship. You might not be in a relationship no more. <laughs> yeah, if it, if, it, if it ain't worth Right. Ain't worth it. Don't don't even say it. Just act like it didn't happen. You ain't got to talk about it. Right. Um. We don't have to say that. Oh, do you believe a relationship needs more communication or comprehension? Both. You can't have good communication if you can't if your partner can't comprehend what you're saying. Oh, okay. I didn't know what the fuck that was. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, I mean, communication is a big thing, but being able to understand. What I'm communicating. What she can really, what they communicate is very important because that's how you're going to be able to, like, communicate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to be able to correct, uh, comprehend what's going on. Exactly. Um... How do you know if a relationship is healthy? I guess if they are both, um, you know, genuinely happy, but ain't nothing too, too much going on. Y'all like really just chilling, going on dates, you know, having fun, winking, having movie nights, like ain't nothing, anybody sneaking around or shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, like. As long as everything cool, I don't think you know what that is. It's healthy. <laughs> What's funny? Ew. All right, man. I think a healthy relationship is basically just being able to see eye to eye with your partner with everything when it comes to, you know, like I said, honesty, trust, you know, the, the love in the relationship. Um... And just the things that you know you want out of it. That's what I would say is the um, the key to knowing that you have a healthy relationship. Um, it says, do you believe in space when fighting or hashing it out? Oh, yeah. What for, me, for me personally, if I'm, if I'm upset, just let me have my space in general. He don't run away. Just let me have my space in general, man. Like, right. Let me, let me, run. let me calm the fuck down. Cause you know when you real heated, you just anything could just you know fly out or be you know what I'm saying. 
taking out of context or anything. Let me let me uh step away and then we come back and we'll resolve the situation mm -hmm. when I'm calm and not so, you know, angry. I can see it. You know, I don't really I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know because I don't, space when you fighting. I mean yeah, I guess everybody needs their space. Like you you sit over there for a little bit. But don't think you're gonna lead the house with your keys and uh a bag. Cause you better pack like Cap. Go stream my shorty music. Anyways, um we gonna pop it off with um One more question, and then we're going to wrap this here video up. Um, do you feel that we make each other better people? For sure. She, um, she showed me some things that I never thought I would even do or experience, which is well appreciated because when you got people like that, you know what I'm saying? You probably want to keep that around because it's like, you know, it showed you something different. They gave you a different perspective, way of thinking, and stuff like that. Probably even gave you, like, a goal or something, you know what I'm saying? Something you want to achieve now that they, you know, brought something to you and you experienced it. Is it? Yeah. I would say yes, of course, just because. Um, that nigga. Pretty much. He just has shown me, you know, how you should be treated as an individual. And, you know, not to accept the peasant's work, you know. So, yeah. No, next. Thank you for watching my video. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more of this face. Cause y'all know y'all, y'all know y'all like watching. Oh. But um, yeah, thank you for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification so you know when I post. Cause he keeping me on my game. I gotta, I gotta keep posting. So yeah, thank you. Hurry up and cut it off. Shut up.